guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be one that I promised you a couple weeks back when I reviewed the OPI Venice for Fall 2015 collection because there were three limited edition polishes that I did not find um, where I purchased the whole collection. They weren't in that display. So I found them at Ulta the other day, snatched the three up, and now we're going to do a live application review of them because I just will feel more complete that way. <laughs> I feel like I have really reviewed the whole collection. So there are three limited edition polishes. There are two like gorgeous lustrous blues. I have one of them on here. One's deeper, one's more of a teal. And then there's this interesting gold glitter that's kind of, it's kind of a wild card. <laughs> so anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the one that's on my nails here. It's the deeper of the blues. And it is called Saint Marks the Spot. And um, OPI describes this as a, what is it? A royal blue pearl. So when I think of pearl, I think more like frosty. I feel like maybe how they're describing pearl is how I describe like a luster finish. So anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's exactly, it's a deep royal blue with luster. So it's beautiful at two coats. I really did like this one. I feel like there are already some OPI polishes that are very similar to this. So I'm gonna talk about them really quickly. Um, one that I have in my collection is called Right Off The Bat. Um, so here they are side by side. This is St. Mark's Spot and right off the bat. As you can see, right off the bat is a little bit more of a grayed out or like a navy or blue. So, so that you can see those next to each other. And then the other one that I have in my collection that's very similar is Miss Piggy's Big Number. And here they are next to each other. This is St. Mark's, Mark's the Spot and this is Miss Piggy's Big Number over here. For me, these are pretty similar in the bottle, but don't be fooled because um, Miss Piggy's Big Number is much more of like a blurple blue. It's like, um, once you've got three coats on there, which is, I feel like it definitely needs at least three, it definitely has this like deeper indigo vibe. Whereas St. Mark's the Spot, I think is right on where they're describing it as a royal blue. So I think that they are different. They do look similar here in the bottle, but they are different. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you live application of St. Mark's the Spot right now, and then I'll show you some comparisons of the two polishes that I just mentioned that it looks alike. The next one we're going to talk about is the other blue. I guess it would probably also be called a pearl finish since the first blue was called a pearl finish or you could call it a luster. This is called Venice the Party. So it's like Ven is the party. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, they, they're describing it as aquamarine. They don't say the finish there, but I'm guessing aquamarine pearl because it has that same finish as the first one. Um, this is actually very similar to the other one that I, that I have on my nails here. Um, but it is different enough that I wouldn't call them like dupes for each other or anything. Basically, this is just a little bit lighter and has a little bit of green in it. So, um, this is also another nice one in two coats. I did find a few polishes in my collection that were kind of similar. The first one I want to talk about is Swimsuit Nailed It, which is actually one of my very favorite aquamarine polishes. This is... Venice the party over here and swimsuit nailed it is up here by my thumb. So basically, I actually I actually probably prefer swimsuit nailed it to this polish. They don't look super similar in the bottle. I mean, they are similar obviously, but you can tell them apart here as I'm holding them. 
I think the reason I like Swimsuit Nailed It, it has this different kind of finish. It's like, it's like, um, it almost has like a metallic look to it, like where you can see tiny particles. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just, I just like it a little bit better when they're right next to each other. But they're basically, they feel like the same color to me. The only reason that they look different is the finish looks a little bit different. So I will be showing you a comparison of these after I show you live application. But just so you know, that's just what's in my collection. I, of course, don't own every OPI. So um, that's what was in my collection that was similar. And then the other one is this here. Again, as you can see, it's a little bit darker again. This is Unforgettably Blue, which is just an absolutely gorgeous, deep, um, aquamarine or teal polish. As you can see, Venice the Party is quite a bit lighter. So I would say that they're very similar, but one's just deeper. You can see the green more in this one too, in the Venice the Party. So I will also show you a comparison of those two in just a minute, but first up we're going to look at live application of this new one, Venice the Party. So let's go ahead and take a look. Thirdly and lastly of the limited edition polishes, we have Baroque but still shopping exclamation point. And it's this light antique gold and it's definitely like a gold metallic or shimmer, but it also has large gold pieces in it. This one actually kind of reminds me of um, Pineapple's, you know the weird glitter one from the Hawaii collection that had all the different colors in it? Well, this doesn't have all the different colors in it. But it's a little bit like, um, like I mentioned, it's a kind of a wild card. It's kind of weird on the nail. Um, I felt like because they combined those two, the metallic and then these larger flaky um, gold pieces, it's kind of like bumpy on the nail. You'll see anyway in a minute. But And also this color of gold isn't one that I really look for towards wearing that often. I don't feel like it's necessarily very flattering. Basically to me it looks like like a rusty gold. Like it's it's gotten too old and you need to have it properly cleaned or you know or if it's not good metal and it starts to go bad. That kind of gold to me. So anyway, um I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't super super crazy about this one. It's definitely really unique in my collection. I don't have anything like it. Um, so, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, you guys, what you think about this. I feel like I feel like maybe people are either really going to love this or they're maybe not going to care for it very much. But I'm going to show you two coats on its own. It does become opaque on its own. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it now. Okay, so those were all three of the new limited edition polishes from the Venice 2015 collection. So glad that I got my hands on it because I just feel like I just completed the collection and I completed the review and now you really will know everything that I feel about that collection. So anyway, um, I actually really do like these two blues. I feel like they're great additions to the collection because I feel like the collection is right there behind me. Um, I feel like maybe it was a little bit lackluster 
um, without these two, but with these two, it really livens up the collection a little bit um, to put a few blues in there. Yeah, we didn't have any blue in there before. We had a little bit of purple and green, um, but these blues really liven it up. I would say, unless you absolutely are gaga over this after you see me swatch it, I would say you could probably pass on this one just because it is kind of weird. So, hmm. I mean, I'm glad I have it just because I'm a crazy collector hoarder person uh, when it comes to nail polish, and I'm glad that I picked it up so I could review it for you guys. Um, but... If I'd seen this review on somebody else's channel, I would probably pass on this one. So, anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, let me know, like I said, what you guys think in the comments below. I forgot to tell you what's on my lips. I'm loving this. This is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Toasted Marshmallow. So comfortable to wear and... I'm really, really digging it. So, anyway, um, thanks for stopping in today, you guys. Sorry that I didn't have this whole video together when I first um, reviewed the Venice collection, but I just couldn't get my little paws on these polishes till now. So, anyway, like I mentioned before, I did find them at Ulta, but when I went, there was already only one left of the lighter blue. So, you might have to hurry, or you might have to... I think I saw them on Beyond Polish... I haven't ever ordered from that website, by the way, so I don't know for sure how good they are, but I think I did see them on there. So anyway, I um, hope that you found this review helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, if you somehow didn't catch that first whole big portion of the OPI Venice collection, you can of course find it in my videos a few weeks back, or you can look in my playlist. If you guys don't know, I have playlists um, on my channel. I have like all my live application of collections. That's where you're gonna find the OPI Venice one. I have different playlists for hauls. I have a different place for swatch vests. So anyway, if you were just like needing to catch up and stuff, that's a really way, easy way to do it is just go to the playlist. So that completes this review. I hope you're having a really great day. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to come check out and see what else we're doing this week. All right, see you guys later. Bye.